Hello guys, this is Death Dealer. Welcome back to another episode on the Vulture SMP server. This is episode 15 and, well, as you can see, we've got shaders on and that armour looks very funky. But yeah, today, I was planning to work on the ocean monument a bit, clear out all the water, but we're going to postpone that project for a little bit. Maybe a week or so, until, well, no. Yeah, I'll wait a week due to some content being released from another member so it doesn't have any spoilers in it even though the last episode contained those spoilers but oh well. So yeah we're postponing it for a week until Harper is back from his holidays away for two weeks I think so yeah I'll work it out, I'll work it out. But yeah look at this place and shaders, now, this is the first time I've looked at this place in shaders since we've built it and it's looking okay. Now I was just thinking to myself, when we make the custom forest around, it's going to look even better because as you can see the leaves just move and so do the tall grass and stuff. But yeah, it's looking good. So today, what we're going to have planned is, did I put it on here? Um, yes, here. We've got the automatic smeltery, so basically what it's got to be is going to be four super smelters in our room and have a storage system in there for keeping all of our goodies so iron, gold, redstone, lapis yeah and have hoppers running around going into the furnaces and then iron fibers for chests I wonder if see how this looks with the shaders from up top now you're not going to be able to see much because of the farm but we'll work with it anyway today I've been very very productive I finished recording a segment of uh, the last Let's Build episode and edited four hours of footage from it. So yeah, it's been good. Anyway, before we continue any more with the episode, I'd like to say a few things. Now, it's only happened with this series so far. In the comment section, there's been people advertising big long paragraphs with numbers stating what to do to get more subscribers. I don't want to see any more of that. Now I could have re I could have removed those comments, but I didn't to see if they would keep on happening. And it's happened almost every episode of the Walt Jefferson B7 was released. So I'm urging you not to do it. And if you do do it, your comment will be blocked. And well, you you may not be able to comment at all. So that's just a word of warning. But yeah, I'll think it's, I think we should show you where we're going to be putting this room. It will be... Well, where we done the piston translocation elevator. Oh, this is dark and gloomy. It's going to be here. Now this room's actually quite nice with the shaders. And it's going to look quite good with the sea lanterns when we put them in eventually. It's going to have some up there too, I think, so it'll light up the ceiling a bit. Oh, the dynamic lighting, huh? I like it. Anyway, yeah, so, piston translocation thing here, and if you turn around here, in this wall is where we're going to put the smelter room, which means we're going to need to implement the hoppers in the floor of the mining s system, which I think we're going to hold out on until we've got enough iron, and we're going to need to build a redstone elevator coming all the way up into where we're going to have the super smell tree and it's just a case of having hoppers running around well not not all hoppers are probably yeah hoppers running around doing nothing but yeah it's quite simple really but before we do any of that I'm going to do a one hour mining session because well yeah we've got a lot we've got a lot of iron two and a half stacks I think I think I left it up here too. Two and a half stacks, if not three. Yeah, two and a half, roughly. I think we're going to need maybe quite a few more stacks, maybe three times that amount for hoppers. Maybe even more, because we'll be making this little setup here with a few extra things. And then all the hoppers for everything else. So it's going to be pretty resource intensive. So I guess I should get started with the mining session 
and we'll get back when that's done. Hello pig. Anyway guys, I just done the mining session, it wasn't really that good. We got a lot of redstone, I mean a lot. Quite a bit of lapis, diamonds, not so much, but come on, we're rich anyway. Coal, we got a bit. So I'm just going to let some more iron. So that shouldn't take too long. Oh, and that's why you're following me, because I'm holding a carrot. Hmm. Okay, you can have some. Anyway, for the redstone elevator we're going to make, we can't use the old ones like that one we used in the Opticraft factions. We can't use that design because it doesn't work anymore. There is a slightly modified design you can use, but we're going to use the one that uses droppers. So anyway, we're going to head over to the redstone testing world and I'll show off the design. Okay guys, so this is a design that utilises droppers and this is a silent design so you can't hear them clicking every time you they dispense an item. So I'll put 64 items in the bottom and they are slowly coming up. That's the only thing with this design, it's very slow. But I don't expect putting much things in here at once. Um, the only things that I expect to put in this elevator are ores, cobblestone, dirt, gravel, all that stuff will be going elsewhere. I'll put that into uh, to another storage area because there's no point sending them up to the refinement area because that's just wrong, they don't go there. So is that, that finished? Yes, 64. All the testing I've done, this thing is working perfectly, no loss whatsoever, nothing gets stuck. So yeah, we're going to make it on the Vulture SMP server, but first we need to work out what the, the, uh, the what you call it, the refinement room is going to look like, and where we're going to be putting the item elevator. So guys, it's been quite a bit of time in between the last clip and this one, I think it's been more than a day or so because I've had a family engagement. Well, not a family, an actual engagement, a family event, so I've been doing that. But since last time, I've dug out an area opposite the translocation elevator. And here is where we're going to put the smell tray area. Now, I've already designed it, and I haven't finished digging out stuff yet, but... Yeah, it's a very tight squeeze. Anyway, I think I'm going to get this bulb because I'm already 8 minutes into the episode and don't want to have these too long. So, let's get started. Okay, so here is the design that we have so far. It doesn't look so good that we're using glowstone instead of sea lanterns because the sea lanterns really make the walls pop. And of course, we might have sea lanterns up here as well, but we ran out of glowstone. So yeah, it's empty for now. But that problem will be rectified soon. So yeah, we're still in the works, we've got chests, and then some more chests, it's meant to be chests in here as well, but I'm not putting them in yet until I have the whole hopper system created. And in each of these little alcoves is where we're going to put the super smelter. Now I need to work out how many hoppers I actually need, because yeah, I was going to do hoppers leading from the item elevator all along the top at first. But then I realised that I won't spread the resources into the, what you call them, the super smelters efficiently. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a hopper minecart to do it. Which I have no idea how, well, I haven't used minecarts in a very long time so they may function slightly differently to what I normally, well what I've known. But yeah, that should be fun. And also I've got a sorting system back there to do. And to finish it all off, since we're putting items into these little areas, we're going to take items back out, up, and then into the storage system, which is going to be here. I'm going to go and get some leather for item frames and we'll put each resource in each area. But yeah, this is going to look good. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, basically what happened was, I was going down to the mining system. And my something should stuck in my chair. I was going down to the mining system so that I could start work on making the redstone elevator. And I held space was going down, but I think I held shift as well accidentally, so yeah, we're dead. But we will not let this knock us down. We will continue with the project and we will get it finished this episode. 
Okay guys, so I've been doing some work and well, with the way things are looking, this is going to be another long episode today. So yay, thumbs up for that. But yeah, last time I left you, I don't know what I had done, but yeah, we've implemented the Super Smelters, we have six in total. I've also started working out how we're going to be transporting items around, so down here, if I can get up, we have the item elevator right there, and you can see some rest back there, that comes into this water stream, shoots the items into it automatically, they go flying this way, into another item there at the elevator, yes that's the word, and it goes all the way up here, and goes into this chest, which will then lead into a minecart. Simple really, so I'm going to well, I'm going to go and do a, a mining session because we need more iron for hoppers because we need a lot of hoppers and I mean a lot so anyways, I guess I should go and get that done and we'll see how much progress we can make Okay guys, so as you can see we're still mining, we have found some resources I'm going to mine to have at least maybe 4 or 5 stacks of iron because that should help us finish today's project and maybe even have some left over for a future one. But yeah, this has been going good. I don't know how long I've been doing it for, but it's been quite a bit of time. I've done any caves I hit, I've been going into them, extracting the ores, and continuing on our way. And you can see we're using this technique. So basically what happens is, you go here, you mine each way as far as you can, and you mine this way five blocks. You see I've already got a gap there because of the strip mine I've got beside here. Mine up to it. You place a torch every second one of these and then you continue that. Pretty simple really. This has been tried and tested and it exposes the most area when you're mining. It's the most efficient way to strip mine. And I'm strip mining at Y11. So yeah, that's how I mine. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there and we'll come back when we've got some more done. Okay guys, so I'm back for our mining session. We didn't get as much iron as we said, but we got, I think it was three stacks, just under three stacks. And yes, I'm using the system. I entered the stuff manually. So three stacks of iron smelting up and half a stack of gold, which, yeah, it's slow. I forgot to put my stuff in there. Hmm. Although, and that's a big extra iron I had. Oh, and I took all the resources we had out of the render chest because I've been keeping them in there and combined it with the stuff I got from the mining session. And one, two, three, four, four and a half stacks of diamonds. That's the most diamonds I've ever had at once. Ever. Awesome. Two emeralds. A lot of lapis. Even more redstone. Quite a bit of coal, gold, we've got quite a bit, and end chest will be iron. But yeah, we need all that iron for hoppers for the back and for more hoppers for certain things and stuff. Because here we're going to, instead of fortune our items here and then manually putting them into the chest, we'll fortune and put them into chests along the side here, and that will take care of it for us. Even though putting stuff into chests isn't that bad, but you get what I mean, right? Anyway, I've already edited most of the clips, I've already recorded and it's getting later on in the day, it's currently 20 past 10 in the evening, so yeah, that's why my voice is dipped down quite a bit. So I'm going to edit the footage we have and we'll get some more work done. Well guys, I'm on to my fourth day of recording this episode. Yes, this one's taking a very long time, but yes, we've made some more progress. I've ripped out some of the floor, and you can hear my chair making a noise, my apologies. And I've also put in the rail system. And I don't know if this was there last time, but yeah, we've done that. So it's another item elevator that comes up from the wash we've got down there. And to this little system, this is some storage in case this all backs up. And basically what happens is, we've got a little redstone circuit here. And, well, basically when the minecart is empty, it's held here. Items can flow in. 
Once items out of the hopper have filled in or the minecart is full, it will be let go and then it can go around the track and evenly distribute items between the furnaces. However, I've run out of iron once again because we're going to need a lot of iron for hoppers for here, hoppers for the back there, even though as you can see we have hoppers already in there. We need some more hoppers for the filters. We're also going to need to make some more item elevators at the back there to elevate the items from this level up to that one. So I'm afraid I'm going to go and do some more mining, the third mining session of this episode, and well, we'll make some more progress. Okay guys, so it's been a good few hours since our last clip and boy oh boy have we been making some very very good progress. Yes we've put in the hoppers, it took a long long time to gather the iron and we're not finished with the iron yet, we need some more. And yes we're already quite a bit of time into this episode so it'll be longer than our usual ones. So if you like this style of episode make sure to hit that like button because it took about four days to record all of this. Anyway yes we are utilising our system, smelting up some iron and well new additions we have two item elevators one there and one here and basically what's going to happen is they, this hopper chain is going to run into it and the same in that side now I think the best way to get up will be through the back here where the rail system is which you guys have already seen all of this I believe yes right so you know about this system I'm not going to show you the redstone but I've We've talked about it, and we come along. That actually can be a solid block there. Yep. And we've got a bunch of wall streams where the item elevators come out. Okay, so this wall stream here is on top of the item fills, and it's what happens is the wall stream that's running there into this one and item elevators pushing items here so the items will run against the wall and theoretically they should run in the middle of the water in between the water and the fence so then it, it, um, the hoppers and so on can pick it up and you're wondering where is the that wall well where's the items from that elevator going to go well there's a water stream all the way around as you can see on the edge there and it comes round now all we need left to make this system fully operational is a few more hoppers on each side. If we can get in an area where I can tell you. So we need one, two, three, four, five in this side. Plus one, two, three, four, five in this side. Ten hoppers. That is 50 iron. We've almost got enough iron for it. I didn't think about that, but of course we also need, if we come down here, yes we've got the ML there here as well but we're going to need a lot of hoppers for the mining system and there's some iron there I can utilise. Yeah we're going to need hoppers for the mining system because that yeah still isn't done and two hoppers for here because I've been storing all my items in here, hasn't been working and I don't want them all pulled out just yet and we can use some signs here as well because we're going to put 14 items in there. Or you could put them in the bottom chest. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, to look at our resources we currently have, we are up to just under five stacks of diamonds. I had to use some to repair my pickaxe. So yeah, that's a good thing. That's meant to be where emeralds are. The only emeralds we have, we've got two there in the item filter. A lot of lapis. Even more redstone than last time. We have so much and then we've got so much in block form here. The coal is about the same. Put that in there. Gold about the same, we've got nothing in the iron chest currently, but I think what's going to happen is when we have the iron farm set up, we're going to hook it up to this system and send all the iron here, and the poppies will send into a storage system, then once that storage for them fills up, we'll destroy them. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to finally get this project finished between this clip and the next one, collect the iron we need, we're not going to worry about the hoppers for the mining area in this episode, we'll worry about that when it comes to it, or when we get the, what you call it, the iron farms operational, because then, then we'll have an infinite supply of iron ingots. So yeah, 
not much left to do. And of course we could tidy up this area a bit. Hmm. This project has gone better than I had planned. That's great. Okay, so it only took me about five minutes in between the last clip and this one and well we have enough hoppers now to complete the system just to craft up another one for that bit but we have enough iron as you can see but yeah the system is now fully operational now we need to do a test because I'm not sure if it's going to work I haven't even tested the how the items are going to go into the chests so I just hope that this is going to work. Now we've got four gold, which came out of that hopper there. And if we check how much gold we have, right, that second stack is on 24. So, remember that number, 24. We'll watch this for a little bit. I just hope it works because it has, I've spent hours, and I mean hours on this. Come on, please. Exit update, maybe. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. Like, let's do some troubleshooting, shall we? Um, best way over. It's probably here. Check all the droppers. Now I'm not entirely sure about that back one, so we need to try and navigate up there. Because the only fear I have is that it didn't actually go into the system due to the... You're not meant to be there. And that's going to go into the system. Right. Anyway, right. Um. I just hope nothing as has... Right, yeah, you can see how close we are to the surface. Right, hmm. So I think, I believe stuff is going in here. That's still at 18, that's good. Oh, it could have went to the far off chest. I didn't think of that, but that's because of the, what you call it, the item power because I haven't got that set up yet. Hmm. It's still 24, I just don't understand, where has that gold went? So it looks like we're going to need to check every single one of these droppers. Why are you in there? Oh. Oh, right. Right, that's why. Now, what is it there? Right, that's why that needs to be taken away and we need a redstone torch right there. Okay, right, that's the problem fixed. Now, it's dispensed only one of them, so that'll be up to 25 in the count. Right, right. Crisis averted. Let's go and check the chest. 25, that's good. Right, and finally, let's put these last three in. I, my heart was in my mouth right there. Oh. That's good. You hear the three clicks because it was dispensed into the water stream. And yes, yes, it works. It works, guys. That is awesome. Brilliant. Right, so I'm going to do a quick clean up of the room, put all the floors and stuff back in, sort out this chest, get tidy it up, <laughs> cover up this part, and I suppose we can make a hidden entrance somewhere in the future maybe, and well, we'll end the episode there, and also get some glowstone. Well guys, that is us, finally finished this project, it has took a very very long time, four days in total to record this episode on the Vulture SMB server. So yeah, I, well, I think I've made a lot of progress, but I've only been working in the one room and some appliances that go along with it. 
so it may not look like a lot, but it, trust me, I've had to go do maybe three or four mining sessions to get the iron, so that took about four hours to do that, because I go for an hour each, and then building the room, designing the room, the room was already designed before we even started the episode, but yeah, that took me a little bit, troubleshooting with the hoppers and stuff, just all the logistics behind it, it just took so long and I was replacing these blocks back here with glowstone that I had the item a little bit ago and the, there was this one and whatever block was there it hasn't came back so I think that one's broken but yeah and I've already took the screenshots so that's another thing and I suppose we can take this off our list as well and we'll go back down into the room to end the episode there because I think that should that would be reasonable and yeah, you can see I've got a big spruce tree, I've been using those for my supply of wood. And there we have it. It's not an automatic smelter, it's more like an industrial smelter. That's what that room is. So yeah, at least we've got a dedicated room to store all our valuables and I don't need to store it in our ender chest anymore. Which is also great. And of course, anyone is welcome to come along and use it. But please take note that I already have items in the storage system and oh right that's not good we'll be back in a moment sorry about that my internet has a habit of doing it and it took me back to over there anyway as I was saying if any other member of the Vulture Space server wishes to use this smelter please take note I already have items in the storage system so make sure to only take what's yours just saying but anyway that's not good, we're going to crash again. Damn it. Anyway, that's going to be it for the, this episode. So if you like this episode, make sure to hit that like button. And if you like this style of episode and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you guys next time.